I am Airman First Class Humelis Patterson, and I work at the 375th Air Mobility Wing Chapel as a Religious Affairs Airman. The mission for the Air Force Chaplain Corps is to provide religious support and spiritual care for airmen and their families. Religious Affairs Airmen work alongside chaplains called Religious Support Teams, and together we design and implement ways to care for airmen effectively. Our primary duty is to provide advice on spiritual, ethical, moral, and religious accommodation issues to leadership. Our duties include unit engagement, where we go into our assigned units, spending time with airmen, and seeing if there are any struggles that they may be facing. Following unit engagement, we share our thoughts on any struggles that airmen are having, and we find out ways that we can provide for them. One of the most beneficial programs that we offer to airmen are the Strong Bonds Resiliency Courses. We utilize these courses to enhance personal relationships as well as professional. Chaplains provide reoccurring counseling as needed, Religious Affairs Airmen are trained in Crisis Intervention Counseling, and we both offer 100% privilege communication. I am proud to serve as a Religious Affairs Airman at Scott Air Force Base. Hi, I'm Mark Wilderman, the 375th Air Mobility Wing Historian and also the Scott Air Force Base Historian. The mission of the Wing Historian is primarily to create the annual historical account of the Wing's activities to serve as a permanent part of the Air Force history. My primary duty is to gather and preserve the Wing's historical source material and write a draft annual Wing history for the Wing Commander's review and signature. The historian also educates airmen on Air Force and base history by writing articles and updating the Wing Heritage Pamphlet. The historian creates a variety of historical products such as briefings and heritage displays, like the lighter than air heritage display in the headquarters building. The historian also maintains a collection of unit historical documents, a large collection of historical photos, and an extensive library. I am also the Wing's expert on matters related to lineage and honors, unit flags, and emblems. I also provide historical materials to create group and squadron heritage exhibits in an advisory role. Finally, the historian may deploy with the Wing or deploy as a contingency historian supporting an expeditionary unit. I am proud to serve as the 375th Air Mobility Wing Historian at Scott Air Force Base. I am A1C Harlow and I'm an Emergency Actions Controller for the Scott Air Force Base Command Post. My fellow controllers and I work within a 24-7 operations center charged with maintaining command and control for their assigned installation and mission sets. Command posts serve as a one-stop shop for critical information reception, validation, and dissemination. Whether it involves phone calls to base leaders in the middle of the night or broadcasting emergency messages over giant voice or other emergency mass notification systems. At Scott Air Force Base, we maintain continuous overwatch of our installation status, emergency response actions, and active missions while providing our senior leaders with the information necessary to accomplish their mission. I am continuously overseeing many systems, from classified C2 chat rooms to flight management programs that track and have the ability to communicate directly with our aircraft anywhere on the globe. We also actively monitor both emergency and air traffic radio frequencies, as well as an advanced network of installation security cameras. We routinely coordinate for fuels and services of aircraft. As well, we work as the command and control for base-wide emergency response actions that require immediate wing commander notification. I am proud to be an emergency actions controller assigned to the 375th Air Mobility Wing. I'm Technical Sergeant Travis Pointer and I work in the 375th Air Mobility Wing as an Occupational Safety Technician. Our primary duty is to ensure the safety and preservation of all military and DOD life and property. We do this through hazard identification and mitigation as well as instilling a safety mindset throughout the base. Safety conducts base-wide annual inspections and provides various safety-related training to all DOD personnel. Our office is required to inspect all wing-owned facilities annually, and we inspect all units' safety-related programs biannually. We provide certified motorcycle safety rider courses on base. Safety personnel brief all new unit and squadron commanders as they are in processing into their new unit to ensure they have the most up-to-date information from prior safety inspections and program assessments. I am proud to serve the 375th Air Mobility Wing as an Occupational Safety Technician.